it's time for a bit of cooking at this research institute in southern Italy. The recipe is simple. A splashing of natural textiles, a good dose of partially bio-resin and a pinch of bio-additives and enzymes. Stir well and place your mixture in an oven for a few hours at 60 degrees Celsius. It's made out of linen fabrics and natural resins. It's a sustainable, completely organically derived product. It is in fact a new composite structure born out of renewable materials. And it's these researchers dream that this new eco-material will soon replace plastic composites. We're convinced that very soon we'll be able to replace fossil-derived materials with exclusively natural materials. We're talking about materials born out of byproducts like cotton, linen or hemp, or resins made with sugarcane or other crops which are not aimed at the food market. Before it hits the market, the new Ecomaterials mechanical performances are fully tested and compared with those of carbon and other classic composites. Tests include fracture toughness, elasticity and plasticity. As far as we can see, the natural composite has inferior mechanical properties to classic composites. For instance, it's less rigid and shows less mechanical strength than carbon composite. But these mechanical characteristics don't mean that the natural composite will be more difficult to use than the carbon composites. It depends on the type of final product that we want to develop with it. And researchers are not short of ideas. Various concepts are currently under study. The new bio-composite could be used to equip cars, to build construction panels, or to assemble furniture or musical instruments. At a competitive price, manufacturers hope. Research is ongoing to increase the quality of the natural composite. In a year's time, we'll have a top quality product. And it shouldn't be that expensive. The natural composite will cost between 20 and 25 percent more than current plastic composites. That would mean a price increase of just 30 or 40 cents per kilo for natural composites. It's hoped this new biocomposite could become a market reality in the next three to four years.